Hi, this is Mama Dr. Tochi with today's class on getting wealth from the water. Getting wealth from water. Those of you who are in the apprentice and master teacher class, even the Pathfinder classes, know that we have talked about how and why wealth comes from water. But in this general free YouTube class, we're just going to talk about one or two things we can do to get the wealth that is inherent in the water. So before we get into it, get your drink, get your snack, get your notepad, your pen, your pencils, get ready to take notes because today we're going to have a short, interesting class on this topic. So let's <music> Welcome back. Before we get into it, a little bit of housekeeping. If you need to get a hold of me for a reading, a consultation, please go to the description below this video and click on the link to my website. From my website, you can also purchase my products, my services, cleansing soaps, um, you know, bracelets, uh, favorite bracelet, protection bracelet. You can also uh, take my online courses, purchase books, do a whole bunch of things, okay? You can also get our ritual candles. That's uh, one of our new products. And do your own rituals at home with our candles. You can also get our crystal eggs or obsidian crystal, e uh, crystal eggs that you can use to do your egg cleansing, especially if you're on the road, you're traveling, or you're in a place that you cannot use real eggs. For those of you who are subscribers, and members of the Dr. Tochi family. Thank you so much. I love you and I appreciate your support. Without you, I wouldn't be here. If you're not yet a subscriber or a member, click on the join button to be a member, subscribe button to be a subscriber. If you don't see the join button, that means that that feature is not yet available in your country or region. If anyone writes you in my name using my picture, soliciting for money, asking you to buy things, they reached out to you, especially through Facebook, just know that it's a scam. Uh, also check out their number. If they are writing you or asking you to call a 234 number, that's a Nigerian number, Scroll through the profile, especially if you see terrible things in their profile, just know, have a confirmation that that is not me. Now, let's get into today's class, okay? We want to talk about wealth from the water. We already know from a lot of religious texts and scriptural text, uh, script, spiritual scriptures, I meant to say, that wealth, we can get wealth from water. We also know from a number of indigenous practices that people will go pray at the water or work with water in order to get wealth. People have a lot of beliefs and understandings concerning water and how water works. If you want to know more about water, how water works, the things you can do with water, I encourage you to go watch the videos on my water playlist on my YouTube channel. I have a playlist and the videos in that playlist all deal with water. Look for the playlist for water. I have several playlists. One is for water. Go watch the videos in that playlist, you'll see different ways you can use water. But in today's class, we're going to talk about how we can use water to gain wealth or to gain some material benefits that we want. Now, this is very, uh, this is a very simple thing to do. First of all, you have to have an active water source. What do I mean by an active water source? You want to go to a body of water that is moving. You don't want to use a bucket of water, uh, a cup of water, a bowl of water, a basin of water, standing water, a puddle of water. No, you don't want to do that. You don't want to use a lake or a pond that only has an inlet but does not have an outlet. You want to use water that is in motion, that is moving from one place to another. So you can use a river, you can use an ocean, you can use a lake, you can use a sea. Anywhere that water is in active motion. 
And the key here is the more motion in it, the more successful you will be with it. If you go to a water that is very calm, okay, and doesn't have a lot of motion in it, your chances of success with this little ritual will not work, okay? You can do this any day of the week, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. You can do this any month of the year, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. You can do this whether you're menstruating or not. You can do this whether you're male or female, whether you're an adult or a child. You can do this uh, regardless of your country, your skin color. Okay, have I covered all the bases? <laughs> Because I know someone's going to say, well, can I do this in the morning or not? You can do it anytime. In the middle of the day, you can do it in the morning, early morning, late at night, in the evening, at midnight. Whenever it suits you, you can do this, okay? You can do this wearing your clothes or if you are a nudist, you can go there nude. Because I know someone's going to say to me, uh, can I do this while I have my clothes on? Okay, so what you're going to do is you want to take an egg or a piece of fruit, okay? So you want to take an egg or a piece of fruit. Make sure that the egg or the fruit you're using is fresh. Do not use stale produce, okay? Dr. Tochi, where can I get a fresh egg? You can get a fresh egg from the store. Where can I get fresh fruit? You can get it off a tree or you can get it from the store. Fresh. It does not have to be organic because I know someone's going to say, does it have to be organic egg? Does it have to be organic fruit? It does not have to be organic. It just has to be fresh. You can't use dried fruit, okay? Don't crack your egg and then try to use the yolk and the albumin to do this, okay? So I know I'm stating the obvious, but we know why we're stating the obvious, okay? So get your fresh fruit or your fresh egg. You will go to that body of water, energetic water, the water that moves, the water that is flowing. If the water is not flowing, do not use the water because this will not work for you. This is not meant for you to put a, a basin of water, a cup of water, a bowl of water, or a bucket of water. Go to a body of water. If you don't happen to live near a body of water, moving water, save this ritual for when you can. Or make a special effort to go where there is an active flowing body of water, okay? You're the one with the problem. You're the one that has to make the effort. Please do not come in the comment section and write, but I don't live near water. What should I do? What you should do is go look for the body of water. That's what you need to do because that's your problem. You need to solve your problem. So you need to be vested in the results. You need to make effort to solve your problems, okay? I'm already giving you this free information in a free YouTube video. You have to get up off that chair, off that bed, and make an effort on your own behalf, okay? So now you get the fresh fruit or the fresh egg. You go to that water and you start praying. Call on everything, anything, whatever, whomever you believe in. You call on them and ask them to witness your prayer and to answer your prayer. And then you will rub that fruit or egg on your body. And you say, I am offering this offering because that thing you're giving is an offering to your spiritual crew. And you say, I am offering this to my spiritual crew and I'm also offering it to the spirit guides that are in this water. And I am requesting and then you make your request. You can request for a job, a new job. You can request for your business. You can request for funding. Make sure you are making a specific request. Don't go there and say, 
give me money. I want money, 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 money. And no, you have to have a specific request. I need $10,000 to purchase a new car. I need $50,000 to start my new business. I need a new job. Okay. In so, 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 so. I need a new job as a baker. Okay. So I can financially support myself and my family or take care of myself. Okay. I need to find favor during my interview. When I go for my interview for this job, when I go to the bank to go get this money, this loan, may they treat me favorably, listen to me and grant me what I'm looking for. The prayer has to be very specific. Oh, I want good things to happen to me. I want to get money. Let I want to wake up tomorrow morning and find bundles of money under my bed. I want my sugar daddy to give me money. <laughs> okay. If you're dealing with your sugar daddy, how much do you want your sugar daddy to give you? And also keep in mind, can your sugar daddy give it to you? <laughs> because you might be asking for something that your sugar daddy can't afford to give you. Just putting it out there, okay? Or, you know, your sugar mummy, you know, because we, you know, we have to address both sides of the equation. So, oh, I want my sugar mummy to get me a new computer. Can your sugar mummy afford the new computer? Okay, so be realistic. If she's struggling trying to, you know, take care of her own situation and you're trying to force her to get you a new computer or to, you know, buy you a new Beamer or whatever the case may be, you might be out of luck. Okay, so <clears throat> you want to make a very specific prayer. Okay, you want to make a very specific prayer for a material thing. I want to get that new job as a teller at the bank. I want to get that new job as an investment banker. I want to get hired. I want to be successful in this interview that I'm going for as a nurse, as a doctor, as a pharmacist, or, you know, I want, um, uh, I need $20,000 to start my welding business, to start my bakery. So you do that and you know, and you say, this is the offering that I'm making to you. Please accede to my request. Remember, you're calling your spiritual crew and you're calling on the spirit guides of water. And then when you're done praying, Ashe or Amen, Kamaguth, Lesedi, Ayibobo, whatever, however you end your prayers, Amen, Amen, you respectfully toss it into the water. What did I say? respectfully what did i say repeat after me respectfully don't go like you're trying to throw the first pitch at a baseball game or like it's football no you respectfully toss that fruit or egg into the water you toss it once you toss it you turn and you leave Okay. Don't go like, ah, let me see how far I can throw this. No, respectfully toss it and toss it into the middle of the water. Don't toss it at the edge of the water where it's not in the water. Now, the other thing I want to add to this little ritual here is if you can actually stand in the water, that will also increase the efficacy of this ritual. Now, I understand you may not always have the ability to stand in the water for various reasons. It might be too cold or the wrong season or your dressing or where you selected. There's no way to really get into the water. So you can find, just make sure that whatever spot you pick, you can toss it into the water. Okay, not toss it in the edge, but toss it into the water where the thing, the offering you're making disappears into the water. Okay, but your best bet, if you can, is to actually stand in the water as you make the prayer, as you go over your body, and then you toss it respectfully into the water. Remember, you can use any kind of fruit, any kind of seed. And any kind of egg. You can do this whether you're menstruating or not. 
okay? Because spirit doesn't stop operating just because you're having a period. You don't stop being a human being just because you're having a period. You don't stop being a spiritual being just because you're having a period, okay? No, that's just meaningless, okay? The world doesn't stop just because you're having a period. Life goes on and stuff happens, okay? So don't get caught up in that nonsense ideology, okay, about periods. So anyway, so there you go. There you have it, all right? I hope you enjoyed today's class on how you can get wealth from water, all right? Let me know in the comment section how this worked out for you. If you enjoyed this class, give me a thumbs up because it encourages me to produce more content like this. And don't forget to subscribe, all right? And as usual, we end with our prayer. We're thankful to our creator, our guardian spirit, our guardian angels, our ancestor spirit guides, and all those in the unseen realms who give us wealth in different formats. Ashe. Thank you.